Hey everybody, this is Andrew, this is Panda, and we just want to say Happy Thanksgiving. Um, it's the season to be thankful, so I am thankful for all of you who are watching this video, the support of all my friends and family, and just want to give a, a message of joy and happiness for the upcoming holiday season. Um, I've been reading a book called The Book of Joy, uh, written by Douglas Abram. And basically it's a conversation between the Dalai Lama and the Archbishop Desmond Tutu on the Pillars of Joy. And it's a five-day conversation between those two compassionate inv individuals talking about cultivating joy in your life. And it's one of those things where a lot of people focus on pursuing happiness. But happiness to me is a feeling that could be fleeting and something that you're always pursuing and chasing. And usually those things are um, external, they're materialistic, you know, whether you get a new car, nice house, um, new title, new promotion at your job. They're things that you always continually chase. But joy is something that you could cultivate internally. And for me, Learning that over the years have allowed me to be, you know, continue to be joyful and um, have things in my life that are, you know, simply amazing. So, the, in the book, they talk about um, how I focus down to three specific pillars of joy, and the three are around um, generosity, gratitude, and perspective. So the first one around perspective is to be able to reframe um, the negative things in your life into positive things. So when you talk to your friend, a lot of times they would tell you to you know, look on the bright side or when one door closed, another door opens. So for me, it's looking at a loss as a possible opportunity for something new in your life uh, to give you um, motivation and desire energy to, to pursue something new. So recently, you know, as some of you may have been, have been affected by the results of election, um, I was kind of saddened by the results of election personally, but you know, I sat in that emotion for a couple of days and over that time I got to reflect on, you know, what I have done over the past couple of years and how I could use and cultivate that energy into something more positive. So using the election as a, um, to repurpose that into something that could be positive has allowed me to think about what I've been doing in my own life and how to turn that into an opportunity. So with the results of election, I found myself to be more proactive and looking for opportunities now to be more involved potentially in politics or in the community. So I have seen that as a positive experience and now I'm gonna find ways to, to cultivate that as joy, as a way to find deeper meaning in my life. All right, so that's perspective in, in terms of reframing uh, the things that you deem as losses and turn them into positive um, motivation, hope, or gains. Uh, the second point is around gratitude, just being thankful or being grateful for all the things that you have in your life. You know, for me, um, it's something I need to continually to do, but I have in the past you know, written three to five things I'm grateful for every morning. So whether that's just being able to motivate in the, um, meditate in the morning, whether that's able to make a video for my YouTube, um, you know, having a great career, um, just you know, water, food, oxygen, sunlight, anything that is in your life right now that you know you could could possibly be taken away in any moment. So be grateful for all of those things in your life. And then, last but not least, generosity. And this, is, has been, this has been something that I haven't done as much recently that, as I have in the past in being involved in the community. So, you know, given 
uh, what I've just talked about with the election, I'm going to try to figure out over the next month how to be more involved and be more generous in giving my time and or resources to people who are in need. Um, so I'm going to focus more on that. So those are the three pillars of joy. Basically, you can cultivate joy at any time in your life if you stop focusing on necessarily the things that makes you sad and try to figure out how you can um, reframe those opportunities to make yourself um, joyful and find a way to help other people, especially during the holiday seasons. So I hope that was up uplifting. And um, once again, happy Thanksgiving, safe travels, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> talk to you guys later. Bye.